Hey, I'm Jason. Today in the lab, we're gonna revisit the square tube versus bolt experiment. Now we got some comments from this saying, man, that tube is way too wimpy to handle the torque of those bolts. What if you had a heavy wall tube? Would you still need a spacer? I think that's what we're gonna try today. So let's get rid of these thin wall tubes. <laughs> try something a little more like this. Three, two, one, go. Nice. All right, that looked pretty good. So there's our result with a thick wall tube at 110 Newton meters. It's much better than the thin tube. The thin tube didn't even stand a chance. This one at least still has some of its shape left. If you haven't seen the thin wall tube video, check out the link in the description, but it was much more carnage than this. But still here, we've got a problem. We have only generated about 7,500 pounds of clamping force, and we're expecting about 12,000 pounds. So that's due to the plastic deformation that's happening during the tightening operation. So let's throw a spacer in this thing, run another 110 Newton meters, and see if we can stabilize this joint. All right, here we go. With spacer, 110 Newton meters. Three, two, one, go. Nice. That's it. All right. We got 13,500 pounds of clamp force. The tube without the spacer only had 7,500 pounds. Now we can see the difference in the deformation between these two. This should really tell us about the importance of making sure that the parts we're clamping together are strong enough to handle the huge amount of clamping force that the bolt can generate. So remember guys, when you're building something, when you're trying to make a strong, robust assembly, we really gotta make sure we got everything in place to have tons of clamping force. All right, we'll see you next time.